Prince. Prince is not a new face to the music and entertainment scene. He is an MC, a TV presenter, radio presenter. And uh, yeah, we talk about him being an artist as well, dropping hit singles in 2020 and moving all the way to 2023. Joining me today on What's Up, Grand Paul. Welcome to what's the show. Up, guys. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How does it feel being on the on the other side of the seat? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> good for a change. I'm used to just sitting where you're sitting. But it's yeah. good. Uh, and, and when you sit there, you don't really you don't really promote your music a lot. You know? So now, true. now at least we're pushing the couch. You know? I, I mean, talking about pushing the music, we are talking about Papa Tele. Yeah. What are we grabbing onto? What are we holding hey. onto? Why the title hey. Papa Tele? Now you know the funny thing about the, the the song is I think the creative process with all my music comes from the instrumental itself. So mm. I would say that song was inspired by the beat. Uh, I have to give a big shout out to Riz, uh, who's been producing for a lot of artists um, over the past few years, and he shoots a lot of videos. He actually shot my video for Make Time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I told him I want to make an Apple Pop single. So when he played it for me, I had my friend Dion in studio, and then we're like, you know what? I think Ilandi Kupa Pate. You know, so come through with me. Let's give you a hug. <laughs> like, come on, let me give you a hug. Let me hold on a little bit. I mean, previously we were talking about Make Time and so forth. Yeah. How has the music scene been like uh, since Make Time? Because you have been compared to Namibia's Chris Brown as well. Uh, funny enough, I only did my first performance, I think, since maybe 2019, about three weeks ago, um, mm -hmm. during a senior old show. And a lot of people didn't even know that I actually do music. So I think this is the time now for us to continue creating R&B, mm -hmm. uh, Afro pop, uh, maybe a few of my piano songs. But for me, I like all sorts of genres because even from what I DJ, it's everything. So I'm trying yeah. to encompass all that in the next project. I love that you're, that you're talking about diving into a different genre because it's something that's very new to us. You're only yeah. known for doing R&B. Mm -hmm. Does this mean that you're working on a brand new album, maybe an EP, and we yes. can expect some surprises? I'm trying to put it together it's not, it's not easy, you know, there's a lot of costs that go into making music right. and also the time because now I think I, I uh, committed myself to a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, apart from this, I'm doing a little entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. you know, and then there's also the, the MCing and the DJing and what. So sometimes I don't have the time. Like I just told you, there, I slept for like maybe three, four hours. Right. So yeah, that's why my voice sounds like this. But hopefully I'll be able to sing properly. Uh, but I am working on the project. I want to get different producers on board, different flavors. You know, we've got some Kizomba flavors. I know DJ Pimenta is going to like that. we got some Afro pop. I love Afro pop music, you know, and like mm -hmm. I said, some of my pianos or just a little bit. So yeah, hopefully it can be done before this year yeah, it comes to an end. Finally, can we then expect a video as well? I mean, Paul, yeah. we, we don't know you for releasing videos all the time. Why is that? Uh, I will. I'm, I'm trying to shoot. I think sometimes I overthink the concepts and sometimes the yeah. time just gets away from you. Um, maybe I think I'm too much of a perfectionist sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before, I used to shoot any time. You know, your friend would call you and be like, I shoot a video this weekend. I said, oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. But now I think I want to do a little bit of choreo and stuff. But that video is definitely going to be done. Let me even promise before July gets here. Yeah, because it's already in the works. Where do you draw your inspiration from? A lot. I think everyday situations, every music I listen to, um, different conversations that I uh, uh, encounter during the, uh, the course of the day. I've got a lot of inspirations and it would be unfair to pick only one because I think that's what shapes who I am now as a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to get a little bit into um, you comparing Namibian music to music from across the borders because you have been exposed and you've traveled a lot. You've performed on numerous stages as well. How would you say the Namibian music scene is doing right now? I think right now it's doing very well. I mean, shout out to the likes of Yeezo who's having his own concert this weekend. Um, there's a lot of young artists that are pushing the culture. And I'm not saying the older artists were not, mm -hmm. but I think now with the age of social media and the way people are getting to experience music differently, mm -hmm. it's really making a mark. And I would say big ups to all the people. Don't stop what you're doing. Just make sure you're putting out quality music and of course promoting yourself. Um, there's a lot of artists that are heard. Even my music, I didn't know people were playing it in China or wherever, you know, only when I get the report and I'm like, oh, would you look at that? Good plays in Ukraine or Germany and, and you know, Which so... It's wonderful to see. Yeah, I mean, it's good. So, Namibian music is doing great. I think sometimes we just don't give it enough credit because I feel like there's a lot of competition as well in the industry. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the best. Mm -hmm. But why don't, just, why don't we just be together? Exactly. You know what I mean? so Unity. Everybody, everybody wants to be like, I'm the guy. But I think if you're <laughs> trying to push the industry, everybody must push together at once. I like to draw a little inspiration because you have a lot on your plate. You mentioned Johnny slept for about three to four hours right yeah. now. How do you juggle a, with everything you're doing, being an MC, being a personality, being an artist, all of it together in one package? How do you make it work? The secret is coffee. Co caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a healthy secret, Paul. You need, to, you need to okay. give me. I think for me, I would say, um, I'm a very self-motivated person. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't wait for people to push you, you know. It's nice sometimes for your friends to tell you, yo, let's do this, let's, you have to do this. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, when you wake up and you decide why you're doing what you're doing, you're gonna get up and get it. And I always tell my friends that, if you know why you started, then you're gonna complete it. 
uh, lots of people start things and don't finish. Yeah. I don't like that. I feel like it's 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 not right. Mm -hmm. Unless it totally fails, I'm still gonna make sure I see through. What I like about myself is if I commit to something, I make sure I show up to it. Yeah. So unless something out of the ordinary happens, mm -hmm. if I commit, and that's what I would tell people, people are gonna get you based on your reliability. Exactly. So True. make sure you are consistent and reliable, and that way everything else falls into place. Well, I'm going to have you performing on our stage today. What song are we performing? Ilandi Kupa. Papa Tele. Same song. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Papa Tele a little bit with Paul the Prince. But in the meantime, let's check out what Trina is up to. She'll be talking to Silva Shapwa at the Venture Gangel Cultural Festival. We'll be back.